name is Brian. Welcome to this tutorial. It's a photo restoration tutorial on how to bring back some very difficult photos to life. Now if you look here, we've got some really difficult photos to, to restore here because so, it's very dark. Now obviously if you're just starting out in photo restoration you tend to go for the options, auto options. Now if I go auto levels it's not really helping me so that's no good so then you think oh I'll try the auto curves and that's not helping me so if you're a beginner it's quite difficult to proceed further than what we've got so far which is not a lot so the only other option really is using them manually now there's a couple of ways you can get around it this is a really handy little uh, trick make a selection like so and then once we've got our selection we come over to here and click on the curves now we bump that up a little tad and you can see already a change come into options and straight away it's it's already started to change the contrast and we've got the enhanced per channel contrast or we've got the enhanced monochrome chromatic contrast. So I'm going to click OK there. Now you can change these settings but we're going to be ch covering that in another tutorial. So click OK and OK. And if you look there now we can see a box but that's no good to us like that. So what we need to do, you can see a little mask here. So we need to click on our brush tool. Make sure you've got a white foreground and just make a brush a little bit bigger just for speed. And just rub over the painting the picture or photo be better and uh, you can see it coming to life now that's automatically brought that right back and that's really really good if you've got really dark dark photos some of them old photos are really past past it and you, and you need to really do some drastic uh, tricks to bring it back and this is a really good one this photograph isn't that bad actually but some of the worser ones so that's one way of doing it so let's go back to the original another way of doing it is going image adjustments curves and obviously the normal way of doing it is people say bump this one up a little titch there and a little bit down here that's great for the finishing touches but it's no good to bring this picture back to life as you can see so let's reset that now if you push here and go all the way up like so now that's a real high peak it's not normal but it's brought that picture right back it's flooded it with the probably the white part that's missing and it's now come back to life so we could click OK on that and that will be OK now we can start to work with it we can now go into our levels start to play with our levels you know and adjust it this way so I'll bring some black in and we can bring some and that's it you know we're already there and we can now start to repair some of this damage so that's another way of doing it the other way would be just go straight into your levels and as you can see on the white tab it's all gone so we just push that all the way up to the beginning of that peak and obviously you can see it now starting to come back but this hasn't worked as good as the other way I don't think the, the curves way but that's just another way of doing it to start you off so let's cancel that so let's go to a more difficult photo which is really really dark I mean there's not a lot autos are going to help you here they're not going to do anything so what we need to do is try a method. So we're going to try our, our little marquee tool trick, and then go here, and then go curves. Go straight away. I'm going to put a little arc in there for options, and that's brought that back all automatically. Now, if I click on this top one, this enhanced monochromatic contrast. 
that will keep the background the same, the, the sepia look. And we could play around and put a bit more in here, but we're going to cover that in the next tutorial. So click OK. And then we need to get our brush. And it obviously, as we brush in here, you can see it coming back to life, which is great for bringing back really dark photos. And sometimes they're pretty difficult to bring back. As you can see, that's getting rid of all that gunk off there. And it's brought it back to life. So that's another way. Let's go back to the original. The other way would be obviously the same thing, curves. You can't do the yellow usual, it won't work. Nothing will happen, it'll just get darker and darker. So push our reset. And if we push this from here, like the same before, look straight up, and you're going to get this nice light back into it. So you can choose which way you like best, and whichever way you want to do. I just play around until I find the one that looks best and use that, so try them all. So let's get rid of that. That's that one done. And if you look on the level side of things, I should imagine, there's probably there's a little bit of a spike there, whatever's going on there. But if you pull that up, you can see another another way. So that's that. So let's cover some let's cover some uh, cleaning techniques. So let's zoom this down. I'm running out of time a bit here, so I'll have to be quick. Now, if we just drag this down here, like so. We could we could go around cloning this like so, but you can see it moving the pixels around and changing the background, which is what we don't want for lots and lots of dirt. So I'm going to delete that and just drag that straight back down. So what we want to want to do, we can try a, a, this method. This is a good little tip for getting rid of dust. So first off. I'm going to click on this and then I'm going to nudge down one, two, three on the cursor keys and then to the right one, two, three. And that's actually changing the, the picture, it's moving it down three pixels and to the right three pixels. Then we want to put the mask on there. And we don't want a white mask, so we want to change that control eye. We'll put the back because we put the mask on it to protect that picture. Then we need to go on light, lighten, like so. Pick our brush, make sure we've got a nice small brush, and just paint over these dark little spots. And what that's doing, it's not changing the pixels at all. Yeah, let me work on we've only used three pixels so it'll only work on small dust spots but it's a good way of getting rid of dust if you don't want to be destructive to the background which is really useful so I hope you like these tips give them a go and see how you get on and let us know put some comments up there hope you make some more tutorials and tips and tricks thanks very much for watching bye for now